The Legacy of Hope. A Great Venture by Bonaventure. My dear friends in Christ, there is this beautiful prayer in the book of Tobit, which for me I think is appropriate for the season of Lent. And if you read Tobit chapter 8, verse 1 to 8, Tobit says to, to Sarah, Sister, get up and let us pray. Let me read a portion for you. It says, the prayer says, Then Tobias prayed, God of our sisters, you are worthy of praise. May your name be honored forever and ever by all your creatures in heaven and on earth. You created Adam and gave him his wife Eve to be his helper and support. They became the parents of all the human race. You said it is not good for man to live alone. I will make him a suitable helper for him. Lord, I have chosen Sarah because it is right not because I lusted for her. Please be merciful to us and grant that we may grow together. And then they both said, Amen, and went to bed for the night. What a beautiful prayer. My dear friends, I like the fact that Tobiah said, Sister, get up and let us pray. Just as Tobias woke Sarah, for, for them to pray. The Lenten season calls us to awaken, all of us, to awaken from the slumber of routine and to recognize the sacredness of our relationship and to actively seek God's guidance in the decision we make. It is a season of awakening, both individually and collectively, to the transformative power of prayer in shaping our lives as well as the way we relate to people around us. Just as Tobias and Sarah sought mercy and safety through prayer, so too can we seek divine guidance for the challenges and the joys that our relationships may bring. And so my dear friends, this season I want you to do three things. One, challenge yourself to daily reading of scripture through meditation, through through throughout this season. So you challenge yourself to daily scripture and meditation. The second thing I want to suggest to you is to prioritize gratitude in your prayer time. So as you pray, prioritize gratitude in your prayer time. And then the last thing I want you to do is to engage in Lenten fasting and prayer this, this time. This is the time for us to pray, my dear friends. We must be intentional about it and pray about it. And so I invite you to join me to, to pray. Heavenly Father, as we journey in faith, we pray for the grace to entrust ourselves to you, seeking your divine guidance, protection and love. May the power of prayer strengthen the bonds of love and bring forth blessings that endures through life's challenges. Amen.